A previous forecast showed a rare northern lights show should be visible across 17 states, including the gem state. But the chance for Idahoans to catch a glimpse of the spectacular lights is not as strong anymore. Hector Mendoza tells us our chances of seeing this amazing spectacle. Hector? Well, Morgan, the latest storm forecast has actually reduced Idaho's odds of seeing the amazing auroras this week, but there is still a possibility to catch the northern lights later this week. You always hear or see posts online about, hey, there's an eclipse coming. Hey, we have northern lights coming. Um, and those are things that we don't usually see. Local STEM teachers were at Boise State earlier today learning ways to engage students in astronomy. Today we were using plungers as sundials so we could check the altitude and also the sun's motion. What you'll see is our STEM teacher workshop uh, as part of the Central Idaho Dark Sky Reserve STEM network. This is a NASA funded program hosted here at Boise State. Uh, we're working with local school teachers to talk about astronomy and get uh, students uh, excited and interested in astronomy, bringing that NASA science into the classroom. Brian Jackson, a physics professor at BSU, uses his knowledge of physics to explain celestial objects and phenomena. And the natural phenomenon that might paint the Idaho sky is the northern lights. So the northern lights are an effect of space weather. That's uh, mass ejections from the sun that crash into the Earth's upper atmosphere and cause the gas in the upper atmosphere to uh, fluoresce. And so it sort of appears as greens and, and purples. But the auroras are normally only visible near the North Pole. Usually you can't see them down here this far south in Boise, but because the sun has been unusually active over the last several weeks, uh, there's enough of that mass ejected that we might be able to see it down as far south as Boise. Earlier this week, a solar storm forecast predicted a handful of states, including Idaho, would get a chance to catch a glimpse of the green and purple scenery. I think probably the peak of the northern lights was a few days ago. But currently, our chances are slim. So as the solar storms are kind of waning, the uh, prevalence of the northern lights will be less and less. Uh, but, you know, if it's, a, if it's a real nice dark sky, folks might have a good chance of seeing them down here in Boise. Even though our odds of seeing the lights aren't great at this point, there is still a chance in some ideal spots to take a peek at the sky if things change in our favor. So it's definitely an opportunity to take advantage of to get excited about what the Earth is experiencing um, and how it relates to the sun and the sun's energy. Similar to weather in our atmosphere, weather outside of our atmosphere is also unpredictable, so we can't completely rule out the possibility. This is not the first time this year that the Northern Lights has been seen in the state. In March and April, many people from across the Treasure Valley and across other areas across Idaho caught a glimpse of the lights. Yeah, you had some of those pictures in your story, right? Right. Oh, beautiful. All right, Hector, I hope we can, I hope things change and we can catch them. Thanks so much.